Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back with another video. Um, it's Friday, so happy Friday to everyone. I wasn't planning on making a video. I didn't have a video planned for today. Um, but I'm making this video because people keep hitting me up, asking me my opinion on this. Um, and also because it's Blackout Day! It's Blackout Day! So for anyone that didn't know, it's Blackout Day. It's the second one. Um, as I said in my last blackout video, we're going to be doing it the first Friday of every month. So this is our official second blackout. So for any of you that didn't know that today was blackout day, please go to your social media accounts, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Vine, uh, Pinterest, Snapchat, Kick, I don't know any other ones, um, Look, look, my computer keeps freezing. Hello. Okay. Uh, I don't know any other ones, but whatever social media, you know, whatever shit that you have, go get on it and blow it up. Post selfies, reblog selfies, regram selfies, retweet selfies, retumble selfies, and all that good shit. Because today is Blackout Day, and you guys know I love Blackout Day. It just really fills me with positive energy, and ordinarily I'm a hateful person. So it's a good day for me today. Um, this video, aside from being about blackout, is going to be about this ruckus that's being caused by Cosmo, Cosmopolitan Magazine. I first heard about it earlier in the week, like Tuesday was when it started gaining traction. Basically, in the January issue of Cosmo, they did this, um, like a makeup trends, a 2015 makeup trends po page, post, whatever, and um, all of the the beautiful or gorgeous, it said like gorgeous, hello gorgeous or something like that. All of the gorgeous makeup trends were depicted by white people and white models and the ones that had to die were depicted by black people, black models, and people of color. Um, there were 17 looks in total and I want to say five or six of them. Um, the R.I.P. were depicted by women of color. None of the Hello Gorgeous looks were depicted by women of color. The Hello Gorgeous looks were all white women. Um, and so Tuesday, I guess someone was thumbing through an old Cosmo, sitting at the dentist or the doctor probably, and noticed it and took a picture with the cell phone and uploaded it to Twitter. And of course it spread like wildfire and went viral. It's all over the internet. Um, it's everywhere. So like I said, I first saw it, I want to say on Tuesday, someone sent it to me on Tumblr. And as the week has progressed, I've just been getting more and more people hitting me up, hitting me up, hitting me up on Instagram, hitting me up on Tumblr, messaging me on YouTube, asking me did I see it, asking me what I thought. I did see it. I didn't feel any type of way. Cosmo is a white beauty magazine. <laughs> like it's a white beauty publication it's own publication excuse me it's owned by white people it caters to white women even the majority of the makeup looks you know they were talking about like white woman shit like you know um like for example one of the looks that had to die was like dark lipstick um and on the the r.i.p side i had they had joan smalls model joan smalls who's a black puerto rican model they had her pictured with like this black lipstick on because black lipstick was and still is a huge trend, especially among women of color and black women. Um, and on the other side, they had Kylie. No, mate, wait, maybe it wasn't Kylie Jenner. Kendall? It was one of them. Not the one that's getting banged by the old man, Tyga. The other one that's a fake model. Her. They had her opposite Joan Smalls. And she had this, like, red berry lip, and it said, like, instead of going for a dark lip, opt for, like, a berry lip instead. And it, it, that shit doesn't, wouldn't even have looked good on Joan Smalls. It doesn't even look good on darker-skinned people. It was, like, a very red, bright red. Not saying that red lipstick doesn't work on dark-skinned people before y'all try to say that's what I'm saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. But everyone that does makeup and wears makeup knows certain shades look better on some skin types than on others and you have all different types of reds there are cooler reds there are warmer reds reds with blue undertones purple undertones orange undertones shit like that so they had picked this really it, i thought it was an ugly color um and they had put it on the jenner girl whichever one and then they had her next to joan smalls and joan smalls is probably at least 10 years older than this girl they had her face looking all 
old and haggard. None of the pictures that they picked of the black women and the women of color were flattering. And of course they had the white women looking like fresh-faced, innocent, you know, Virgin Mary types. Whatever. It's a white-owned beauty magazine catering to white women. They said black women were ugly. Okay, and it's also Friday. You know, like, I didn't feel outraged or anything like that. I wasn't surprised. Um... But like I said, the post has since gone viral. It's gained all this traction. When I first heard about it, I went I went to the article. And Cosmo has that Facebook commenting, whatever, enabled. Um, and people were ripping it to shreds there. And the author and the editor were actually replying to people's comments. Um, and the editor apologized there in the comment section. She said, oh, clearly, you know, when we pick the pictures... We, look, I done froze up again. I need a webcam. You guys, my computer camera is not the business. Now I'm here waiting for it to unfreeze. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, so the editor has said like, oh, you know, something along the lines of, we, we, we didn't intentionally do this, but now that it's been pointed out, yes, we see. As I've said in tons of other videos, unconscious bias, subconscious bias, implicit bias, inherent bias. Do I think that the editor and the writer sat there rubbing their hands together like evil villains saying they were only going to pick black women to represent the looks that needed to die and stamp RIP on these black women's faces just because they're black? No, but I do think that the implicit bias, the inherent bias, the subconscious bias that lives inside all of us due to the fact that we grew up in a racist, white supremacist society that idolizes Eurocentric standards of beauty, you know, kind of kicked in when they fucking picked the pictures. I'm not surprised. I don't read those type of magazines for that exact reason. Um, and I used to be a heavy, heavy magazine reader. I grew up with all types of magazines in my house because my mom was very into magazines and celebrities and pop culture and gossip. Vogue, W, you know, the big heavy hitters, Harper's Bazaar, um, Cosmo, and the, the, the gossip rags, the tabloids, People, Us Weekly. I grew up with all that shit, but I reached a certain point where I stopped reading that shit, like, because I was like, hey, this shit is not fucking for me. It's not directed to me. It's not catered to me. I don't see myself reflected anywhere, and the more I read this, it's kind of making me feel bad. <sighs> not reading this shit no more, like... Stop reading that shit. Stop reading that shit. Like, yes, Cosmo thinks black women are uglier than white women. You know, I don't know what else to tell you guys. You know, and this kind of goes back to my my do your work video where it's just like at its core, like Toni Morrison said, racism is a distraction. It's a distraction. It's meant to distract you from doing what you need to do and from doing your work. And I see this all the time because, for example, today is blackout day, Right. I, I'm just, oh, camera keeps freezing. I'm so irritated. Today is blackout day. Today is blackout day. Today is a day where, you know, black people are coming together across all different platforms to uplift each other and uplift our own beauty and put our own pictures out there and create our own narrative. And there are people that knew about this Cosmo shit but did not know that today was blackout day. I'm not going to call anybody out, but if you see this video, you know who you are. <laughs> Somebody hit me up and said, oh, did you hear about this? And they, like, showed me the Cosmo thing. And then they were like, see, this is why we need to have Blackout Day again. And this is why we need to have Blackout Day, you know, more often. Try to have it every month. And I wrote this person back, like, today is Blackout Day, actually. Like, today is Blackout Day. And we are having it every month. It's going to be the first Friday of every month. And they were like, oh, shit. Well, I'm, like, slipping. I didn't know. You know, the primary function of racism is a distraction. So you know about this racist shit, but it has distract, distracted you from the fact that today is blackout day. Today is the day for us to create our own narrative and uplift ourselves and fuck Cosmo and shit like that. But you know about that, but you don't know about today being blackout day. Like, y'all give white people too much attention and too much power over you and your lives. You gotta stop fucking with them. Period. Stop giving a fuck about them. Period. Stop reading their magazines. Stop spending your money on their products. Stop buying their magazines. Period. Stop. Just stop. Just withdraw all of your energy from white people. Withdraw all of your energy from white people and put it into uplifting the black community. That's really all I can say because it's almost like we get trapped into these cycles 
of like caring so much about white people that we just like let our own shit fall by the wayside and that's not to say that we should just not keep up to date on what's going on in the world and especially as it pertains to racism and racist instances I'm not saying that at all no 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 and I will continue to make videos of course on things that are happening and shit like that but it's like we can't focus only on that and not know that today is blackout day right and like not not do what we need to do and do our work because then they're winning because they're they're getting so much out of us right so fuck that yes cosmos racist joan smalls tweeted you know this was this was racist and woo 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 and especially once joan smalls spoke out about it now they've issued some kind of you know wishy-washy ass apo official apology like i said they had already said something in the comments um, but now they've issued some type of official, oh my god, we're so sorry, it was, in it was an intentional, and we didn't mean, even though I stepped on your foot and I broke your toe, you shouldn't feel bad, because it wasn't my intention, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, standard white people shit, I don't give a fuck, it's blackout day, I'm too busy on Tumblr, fucking basking in the glory of the melanin, and I advise you to go do the same, because it's blackout day! Blackout day. More important than this Cosmo shit. I don't want this Cosmo shit to like overpower and overshadow the fact that today is blackout day. Today's blackout day and that's major. So go create your own beauty narrative and stop buying into this Eurocentric shit and stop giving them any money too. Black Friday. Um, that's it. Hopefully everybody, everyone had a good week this week and hopefully you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Super thought as always. Blackout. Peace.